So my name is Ryan. I weigh 185 pounds. I have a liberal arts degree. I skateboard. Suck at I, it. I'm a filmmaker. I uh, I'm an actor. I play the <laughs> I play the ukulele and the piano. I really like anime. My favorite movie is Fight Club. My daily outfits consist of this, this, and sometimes this. I don't read like at all. I have ADD. I listen to Joanna Newsom and Panic at the Disco sometimes. I play video games. I play video games a lot. I really loved Undertale, and I like um, the, the Call of Duty campaigns. The only time I ever really drink coffee is in the mornings, uh, morning shifts at work, and that's about it. I collect bottle caps, and I just have one question. Am I a hipster? Either that or a pretentious or a pothead, because frankly, I get called that a lot too. <laughs> So we made it to a second episode. Oh, shit. So, it <laughs> so we made it to a second episode. The gods must be not paying attention because this is a fucking joke. But welcome back, all I don't know, 30 of you. You all are the true heroes of this show, and you kind of deserve a reward. Ah oh, yeah, soldier boy up in this hoe, watch me crank this soldier boy, watch me now you crank this soldier boy, now watch me now you crank it. Soldier boy up in this hoe, watch me lean and watch me rock, superman that hoe and then watch me when I hit a soldier boy, I lean to the left and crank that thing. How many of you remember that classic, huh? <laughs> my age, my age must be showing, my age must be showing. My age must be showing. My age must be showing. Sorry, I had to get that bit out of the way. It's been done. We don't have to do it anymore. It's like it never even happened. I'm sorry. But like for real. Am I a hipster? Are you a hipster? Wanna go on a date? Let's see what the dictionary definition. Batman joke. Gotta do the Batman joke. Let's see what the dictionary definition of a hipster, shall we? A person who follows the latest trends, fashions, especially those regarded as being outside the cultural mainstream. I don't even know what that meant. Oh. I picked up trendy and outside the mainstream. Let's look up what the latest trends are. These are all girl clothes. Motherfucker. These are all girl clothes. Clothes. These are all girl clothes. For guys. Yeah, okay. The Urban Dictionary definition goes a little further, more in depth. Hipsters are a subculture of men and women, typically in their 20s and 30s. Well, I am in my, I am between 20s and 30s, so you got me there. With an appreciation of art and indie rock. Well, I like indie rock. Oh, I think I do. Indie rock bands. Arcade Fire, yes. The Strokes, yes. Radiohead, hell yes. Well, I don't really like the Arctic Monkeys and Vampire Weekend that much, so ha! <laughs> Suck it! Ooh, but I really do like the Smiths. Okay, I lost this one. I really love, I love Neutral Milk Hotel. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I lose this one. Values intelligence and witty banter. <laughs> well, I beat you there, cause I'm Bilbo Briggs, bitch! I don't even, I don't even know where to continue from this point. I live in Mississippi, so I'm like, am I automatically like disqualified from being a hipster, or is that does that matter at all? Often seen wearing vintage or thrift store inspired clothing. The only thing that I own that I ever purchased at a thrift store is, real quick, let me show you, is this little shirt right here. I don't know what Earth Watch is, so don't ask me. I really have no idea. <laughs> I almost forgot about this bad mama jama. It came in handy for our eternities. It's really nice and soft. Let's play the game. Game. I love you more. Tight fitting jeans. Okay, well you got me there. Old school sneakers. I gotta look that one up too. A Converse considered sneakers? No, I don't wear those. But I have these. <laughs> You know, that flower design print, whatnot. Is that considered a hipster trend with the flowers? They're $10. By the way, these are prescription. And I'm really nearsighted. 
Hipster men are as thin as the woman they date. All right, first off, I'm not a man. I feel like I can't get, I can't uh, do anything about that at the moment though. I mean, like, I eat like a pig and I just lay around all day, all, all the day. I eat like a pig, all right? And I lay on bed, <laughs> I can't dog, ah! I can lay in bed all day till four or five in the afternoon hoping someone just rub my back. Like, like, look at this. <laughs> Look! It's all in the metabolism. Like, give it 10 years. The muscular, all-American male ideal is not as attractive by confident hipster women. <laughs> hipster, hipster women. Hipster lobster. Hipster light bulb. Hipster Carl Sagan. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to do my workouts and eat some proteins and get my build up. I did some squats the other day, so I'm trying who view them as male oppression, sexism, and misogyny. <laughs> what? These, these dudes, what? Okay, maybe the idea of this being the standard in male attractiveness might be a little hard to achieve, but the only things that we dudes really have to, you know, don't, the only things that we don't really have any control over is how tall we are and like the face that we're born with. And if a girl rejects you solely due to the fact that you're not even at least six foot tall, then she wasn't even worth your time in the first place. If I were, if I were to reject a lady, you know, for being too fat, then I would be labeled as a disgrace to humanity. But oh, if a lady were to uh, reject me for being too short, then it's okay because it's her preference. I just love double standards. Likewise, culturally vapid, 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 sorority girls, where am I? With fake blonde hair, overly tan skin. Look, just wear what you want to wear. I, you're not unattractive or attractive depending on whatever you decide to put on in the morning, right? You're attractive through your personality. Your personality. <laughs> it's about your personality and how big your butt is. Fuck it, I win this round, okay? I like me some dang ass memes, but there isn't a, a section on memes in here. Is there a different class I fit into? I mean, please, let me know in the comments. Do you fit any of this criteria? Maybe we both discovered something new about ourselves today. Better question, does any of this even really matter? What's this? Your show has now run out of budget due to the poor reception of the critics viewing the first episode and now... Budget? How did we run out of budget already? <sighs> Sir, we're here to repossess your assets due to budgetary reasons. But the show, the show didn't even have a budget in the first place. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, fuck you. Oh no, my ass here! So, the music of the week is gonna be Richie Woods. The album, wow, cool. It is probably one of my favorite albums of all time. I also want to uh, recommend the artist, uh, The Caretaker. It's it's a really cool theme what he's trying to do with, uh, with his music. Uh, it's about like Alzheimer's and losing your memory and throughout life. It's awesome actually, I love his stuff. He uh, he actually released uh, a six staged album uh, not too long ago. The first stage came out this, this, this September and up until 2018 I think uh, in the fall is when it's gonna be finished. Uh, all of it's gonna be released. And it's, it's basically six albums smashed together in one. Uh, just right now, the first stage is open and uh, I, I guess the second one will be up around spring of next year, 2017. Today's movie recommendation is gonna be Broken Flowers. It has uh, your classic Bill Murray. 
uh, my god, I don't know how you can not like this guy. He's the most likable dude, actor in the freaking business. Broken Flowers, really, really good. Bill Murray, I love you. And today's filmmaker YouTube channel is going to be Bryce Makes Films. Bryce Makes Films. Let me look that up real quick. God damn, I don't know how to fucking remember anything. I can't think straight. It's just... It's just not there, and you know, I got everything, I need everything to be spoon-fed to me. Yeah, Bryce makes films. Um, really funny stuff that he's been making, and, and uh, currently he's making a uh, series, I believe, called Blue Horizon. I saw the first, uh, the pilot, and it was really good. So yeah, that's today's uh, episode. Thank y'all for watching. I hope to see you again, it's again, guys and gals again. Hopefully we can make it to a third. Uh, but, um, yeah, this is actually pretty fun, so I'm gonna keep doing this. Is uh, I like this, so thank you. See ya.